Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good morning and welcome to the Valder BB Show. As I start my day off with my very first guest, I've got Megan Murphy. She's a next door ambassador, a lifestyle expert, and she's here to talk about our neighborhoods. They're more important than ever. Megan Murphy, welcome to Valder BB Show. Thank you for having me. Happy National Neighbor Day. Yes, and I forgot you're the chief spirit officer of your town. Yes, the mayor appointed me chief spirit officer. I have a lot of community spirit, apparently. I guess so. Well, I'm so excited to talk with you because I know there's a new study with insights on the Global Neighborhood Month. And also, too, give me some information about hashtag Love Your Neighborhood Awards. Yeah, so this is pretty awesome. So my friends at Nextdoor, which is a neighborhood network, did a really awesome study that was really encouraging and exciting to me. So they found that 61% of U.S. adults feel more connected and crave connection within their neighborhood than ever before. And 72% of them are prioritizing supporting local businesses, which is amazing, right? We got to shop local, eat local, support local. And 58% of people have a renewed appreciation for their neighborhood and plan to continue to have that kind of love and affection for their neighborhood go forward. So really encouraging data about the importance of our neighborhoods. Why is it important to have a strong, supportive neighborhood? It's So I'm also the author of Your Fully Charged Life, and I write incredible amount about the importance of connection and community. It is the power to make us feel connected and a part of something bigger than ourselves. And that's what the Nextdoor app does so beautifully. It allows us to feel like we belong. We're part of something bigger than ourselves. And it, it also helps you find the best restaurants, ways to give back, you know, community service and outreach. It helps you form groups. Um, one of the things I love is that, you know, bird watching became a thing during the pandemic. I've seen all these bird watching groups pop up. You're training for a marathon. You want to find fellow runners. You can form those groups and connect on the Nextdoor app. There's really tons of ways to become a vibrant part of your community. And that feeling of belonging and connection is so vital to our well-being. It's never been a better time than now to love your neighborhood. How do you find those, Megan, how do you find those local businesses in your neighborhood you want to support? It's super simple. So if you go on the Nextdoor app, you can give and get great recommendations. So for instance, a new cupcake shop named Victoria's opened up in my town of Westfield, New Jersey. And I was there on opening day right after school with my three kids. We devoured the Nutella cupcakes and then immediately posted on Nextdoor. Not only is there new, new business, but you gotta try the Nutella cupcakes. Needless to say, they were sold out the next day by three o'clock when we get to get, went to get more. But that's really how it works. If you find something you love, you share about it. Um, and if you're looking for something new to discover, you learn about it. So it's a really great way to give and get recommendations. And also people who um, live in the neighborhood and own small businesses can go onto the business pages and connect with their community customers. If you love your neighborhood like you do and I do, Tell me about hashtag love your neighborhood awards then. So this is really cool. So in honor of National Neighbor Month, Nextdoor launched something called hashtag love your neighborhood. And it's really a way to go on the app and give a virtual high five to the businesses, to the people in your community who are really making a difference. So if it's the Girl Scouts who painted all of these beautiful spirit rocks and hit them in the park and you wanna shout them out, you give them that hashtag love your neighborhood. If it's a small business who makes the best grilled shrimp with fava beans, you give them the hashtag love your neighborhood awards. It's really just a fun opportunity to give kudos and praise to the people in your community who make it awesome. 
Megan has a lot of titles I told you about, but I forgot to tell you she's the editor-in-chief of Woman's Day. That's the number one selling magazine and the long, I, th- I don't know if it's the longest selling, but I know it's the number one selling magazine on newsstands. Megan, where can my uh, my audience go for more information about Love Your Neighborhood? Because I love where I live. Oh, that's, see, I love to hear that. I mean, having that sense of community and belonging is so important, you know, now more than ever. So you can go to the App Store and download the Nextdoor app, or you can go to nextdoor.com to learn all about it. Um, it is just really a great way to, to have that neighborhood network. We'll be talking about Love Your Neighborhood awards all month. So love your neighborhood, show a little love in your area and I, you can never have enough love, right, Megan? Never enough. <laughs> Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Have a great morning. You too, thank you. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.